Something fishy's going on. Everybody, what's going on? My name is Tim. I am the Dizzy Daddy and today I have an appetizer sort of bar food beer food for you. Now those of you who've been watching my channel know that I'm doing a 44 to 24 series where I take my 44 year old tired butt and try to turn it back into my 24 year old version. So of course I'm on a little bit of a diet and of course I can't drink beer. So I thought today that uh, I'd make beer food. Naturally. Yeah. I'm a bit of a masochist. What I have for you today is fried capelin. Now capelin is a small fish. It's a little bit smaller than a sardine and it's sourced in Canada, just off Labrador, Newfoundland, sort of around there. And Japanese people love these things. We use the roe, we make something called masago out of it, which is basically just a seasoned fish roe. We like to broil them and today I'm frying them up. It makes for a nice appetizer. It's also a great sort of snack to go with beer and other things like that. It's an acquired taste, but once you get that taste for it, you'll love it. Okay, let's get going. It's really easy, really quick. And first we're gonna start with something that we're gonna eat with it. Let's go. So what I've got here is a piece of daikon. That's basically just white Asian radish. Uh, it's sometimes called lobak as well. And grated up, this is wonderful to eat with uh, all kinds of things, but we like it with fried fish, grilled fish, fried tofu. You can pretty much eat it with anything. You just put a little bit of soy sauce into the grated daikon. It's awesome. And you don't need a full pound of this. That's about how much I've got here, but I really like it. So let's grate it up. So that's all grated up. Now we're just going to strain out the liquid. Just give it a light press just to squeeze most of the liquid out. Just keep it to the side. Okay, let's fry our fish. And let's bread up our fish here. So you can use a thicker batter. You can use tempura batter or stuff like that. But I like it to be crisp but thin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip each of these in here. And what I have in here is one cup of flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of fine sea salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of white pepper, and one teaspoon of baking powder. But really, you can just do one cup of flour and sprinkle some salt in. And that's really good enough. But I like this mixture. So, this is sort of my fish fry. And I'm going to do all of these. Okay, those are all coated up and ready to go. If you like, you can set this aside for about half an hour. They'll get a little bit moist again. The moisture will sort of seep through the coating. And then you can dip them again. So that'll make them extra crisp. But this is good enough for me, so uh, let's get going. And of course with this stuff, Put it in a Ziploc bag, label it fish fry, keep it in your freezer, and pull it out anytime you pan fry or deep fry fish. And as usual, I have my pan here heating up on medium heat. I'm going to put in about half an inch of oil. We're just going to shallow fry these things. They don't take much. Then we'll just wait for it to heat up. When our chopstick bubbles, in they go. You know what? I lied. I'm going to keep these in here so that they are double dredged. And then when it's time to fry them, I'll just kind of pick them from the bottom of the stack, dust off the excess, and in they go. So bubbles are starting to rise from there. I don't know if you can see that. Good steady rate, they're not going too crazy. So that is getting hot enough. It's been about uh, four or five minutes that this has been heating up. So we'll go in small batches, probably about six of these guys at a time, five or six. Shake off the excess here, and then just kind of carefully lay them in. Check out my high-tech oil filter here. So 
yeah, we'll go about one minute, one and a half minutes on the first side, and then we'll flip them over, and we'll see what we got. So these have been in there for about a minute and a half, and they're actually looking almost done, so I'm just gonna give them a little flip here. Then just one more minute to finish them off, and we'll pull them out. Okay, I think those are ready to go. Yes, feeling nice and solid. And they have a nice light brown coloring on them. So, just put those, drain them on a paper towel. And if you get a lot of sediment, take some time in the middle to sort of scoop that out with a slotted spoon. And uh, I'm gonna uh, just continue frying these things up. All done. Oh man, looks good. Okay, let's eat them. And I've got my daikon oroshi. I've put a little bit of soy sauce on there. Just squeeze a little bit of lemon. We grab a little bit of the daikon oroshi, we put it on one of these guys. And Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. The beauty of them is you can eat them whole. You don't have to gut them, nothing like that. You just fry them up and they're good to go. And when you get a nice fat one like this, it's generally a female. And that means it has eggs. I'm sorry to show you the spot where I just bit into it. But that's a female, and those eggs, they make everything tastier. Mmm. Hey, check this out. You know what this is? It's a shot of that radish juice. So there we go, fried capelin. It's not for everybody, it's kind of an acquired taste, but if you like fish, this is amazing. So I got a whole lot of different bar foods, snack foods, that sort of thing coming up. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please check out my 44 to 24 series. It's a little experiment that I'm doing with my body, trying to see if I can get my old shape back from 20 years ago. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, click the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Take care.